of how we can do in this crisis and I teach at university level. And the one question that students have asked is, All right, um, so we are gonna get started for today. Let me actually start my video so you guys can actually see me. <laughs> All right. So hi everyone. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Um, my name is Jasmine Green. I'm a workshop assistant with the Center for Creativity here at Pitt. Um, and so for today, we're just gonna be working on a meditative practice. Um, so this is something uh, we like to call a work of intention. Um, it's going to last for about 45 minutes at the longest, uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to use the chat um, and we'll be sure to answer it that way. So let me actually start here. So yeah, before we begin, um, here's just some useful info, um, just in case you have time constraints or just want some general info about this uh, session today. Again, it's going to be 45 minutes at the longest. Um, I think we have the settings up so that everyone is currently muted, but I think um, my co-host will unmute just in case um, anyone needs to say anything. And then um, you can also use the chat to ask questions. Um, so if you have any questions along the way, feel free to interrupt me with a chat message and then um, you can get that uh, question answered for you. And then um, everyone should have gotten the email already just with some uh, materials you may need. Um, but uh, we also have it here just in case you wanna grab some other uh, items. Um, so uh, main thing you're gonna need is something to draw in. So it's gonna be in my case today, a paper, but um, you can also use Canvas if you have it on hand. I'm sorry if the door keeps opening, we have a bit of a breeze in here. Um, you're also going to want a pencil just to uh, draw in um, some of your shapes on your uh, paper or canvas, also an eraser to go with it. Um, you're going to want uh, your preferred medium. So uh, I'm using today these um, RTs. I think they're water-based ink pens. Um, this is what I'm going to use. But uh, you can also use something like acrylic paint, watercolor, uh, colored pencils, food coloring if um, you don't have access to watercolor or just kind of any sort of uh, medium you have on hand. So even if it's like a Sharpie marker, that's also perfectly fine. Um, some optional items would be something like glitter, flowers, precious stones, anything that you can use to kind of get really creative and decorative towards the very end. Um, but that's not gonna be until way later. And so um, just before we get started, I'm just going to go over some of the goals of this workshop for today. Um, so I like to think of this project as a really cool organizational tool. Um, I'm an artist, so I kind of think very artistically, <laughs> um, just in day-to-day -day things. 
Um, and so uh, something like this really helps me to kind of get my thoughts out in a way that um, kind of just works for my thought processes in uh, general. Um, but also kind of the main uh, focus for today is just using this as a meditative practice. Um, so I know everyone is really stressed out right now for a multitude of reasons, although there's a big reason, obviously, why we're all stressed out right now. Um, and so this might help just to kind of take your mind off things, even if it's just for 45 minutes. Um, and so um, there's just going to be three main steps for today. Um, we're going to work on the foundation, which is going to be the main symbol of this piece, which I'll explain what that means in just a bit. Um, then we're going to work towards filling in the background of our piece second, and then finally we're going to work on the foreground, which is going to be in the center. I'm not seeing the chat for this. I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone's questions, just in case. Um, oh, that's fine. Fix that later. All right. Okay. Um, so if anyone has any questions, just let us know, but um, I'm going to get started. So again, if everyone, um, if you need a few minutes, just let me know, but um, we're just going to get started. So if you have your pencil, paper, and medium ready, which I'm going to grab my pencil back here. It's also very convenient because this is where I typically do art, so all of my supplies are right here just in case I need them. Um, so in terms of pencils, you want something that's going to draw a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go with, oh, that's very heavy. Yeah, this is fine. All right, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is to choose our goal or our intention for today. Um, so this is something where um, if you're looking at um, how, you know, if there's a goal that you want to reach this month, April, um, this is what you want to focus your piece on. So this is what you want to be, this is what you want to have in the center. Um, so, uh, the theme for today that I chose was getting connected because obviously we're very distant from each other right now. And so if we can find ways to get connected with each other, either with our community, our environment, um, this would be really nice for us to focus on. Um, and so, uh, the three, uh, symbols that I have chosen for today, these symbols are called glyphs. They're like modern hieroglyphics. Uh, the three symbols I have for today are connection, which is going to be this triangular shape right here, harmony, which is then learn on the other side. Um, of course, if you have a different symbol in mind, so something like a peace sign or a heart symbol, um, that is also someone. Okay, sorry, that was Eric. Sorry. Um, so if you have another symbol in mind, that's perfectly fine. Um, so today I think I want to focus on connection. Um, it fits in really well with our theme today, but also it just, um, it's something that I've been meaning to do, kind of being sheltered inside. It's been hard for me to reach out to other people. Um, but basically what you want to do with this symbol, I'm going to go back here just because this is a really good example. You want to draw your symbol directly in the center of the paper and feel free to get big with this symbol. Um, you want it to take up a little bit of room, but you want to use this kind of block format. So I'm going to draw my symbol of harmony here on my paper, just to give you an example. So I'm drawing a big circle that is not perfect, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, Kind of funny it also kind of looks like the deadpool um symbol as well so just if i added like the two circles here but if you can see kind of go back here you want to draw it in a block print so there's a bit of an outline here around your shape you want to draw that pretty big in the center oh i think i said connection i went with harmony that's okay <laughs> but yeah okay so apparently my shape for today is harmony um but yeah, you want to draw it so there's a definite border here on the outside. Um, and as you can see, it also takes up a large portion of my paper here. So if you want to take a few minutes just to kind of, you know, 
see what symbol really uh, meshes with how you're feeling today, um, what you're kind of looking forward to doing this month. Um, and then we're going to progress in just a few moments, but if you can take your time here, that's fine. Um, yeah, I guess harmony for me also is very important this month. Um, just because things feel so out of whack right now. So kind of having that harmony both here in my home with, you know, my roommates, but also kind of just harmony with everyone else and ways that I can kind of reach out to my community, but still being here at home. Um, harmony for me also fits right now. So this is, but you know, very welcome. And you can also let us know in the chat which symbol that you kind of really connect with today. Um, if you want to keep it private, absolutely. But just in case you kind of are dying to get it out, like which symbol you're using today, you can also let us know. I might end up closing the windows just so my door doesn't keep shutting like that. Also let me know if the music is either too loud, not loud enough. Just have some lo-fi hip hop going on in the background. So I'm guessing everyone has chosen their symbols, and got it all sketched out. And so if you want to take a couple moments just to focus on the piece that you have today, your uh, symbol here in the middle. Um, and so uh, something that typically happens during the stage is some words might come to your mind. Um, so for me with harmony, something might be with um, like relationships, love, connections, things like that. And so what you can do is just very lightly write the words that you're thinking about on your paper or on your canvas. Uh, so just to give you an example, I'm gonna write relationships. See it up here in the corner. And you can write it a pretty sizable font so you can go either like bigger, smaller, you know, that's whichever you prefer is also perfectly fine. See, I also had the words love, connection. I'll even write harmony, even though that's the symbol in the middle, but even writing it out can kind of feel a little therapeutic at times. Right. Friendships, just because, you know, with my roommates, I definitely want to keep us all in good spirits so we're not attacking each other right now, just from being inside all the time. <laughs> um, right. All right. So, I'm just going to move on. So we're going to, um, this was our foundation, so we have everything in place. And now we can actually start building on top of that to old piece. Uh, so let's see. Hit the wrong button there. There we go. All right, um, so now we're on our second phase. So this is going to be our building phase. This is when we're going to start working towards that goal that we've set here at the beginning of our uh, piece. Um, so as you can see here, you know, the background is getting filled in and we're starting to create an entire uh, work here. Um, so this is going to be split almost into two mini parts. So the first of those mini parts is going to be um, with choosing the shapes that are going to fill your background. So as you see here, we have like triangles, circles, things like that. And so in this practice, shapes represents, you know, certain behaviors and sh like just overall structures that are going to be helpful uh, towards achieving your goal. Um, what I mean by structure is like, you know, if you're going for something a little bit more structured, this can be like, you know, organizing your day in terms of like a schedule or, you know, kind of setting timers for yourself, which for me are very helpful in getting things done. Um, 
you know, if you want to have someone who's accountable or who keeps you accountable, that sort of thing is something more with uh, more structure. Less structure can be, you know, I am making way too many lists, way too many calendar events. I need to chill out a little bit. That's going to be more towards uh, less structure. And so if you're kind of drifting towards, you know, um, I need something a little bit more organized in my day to day in order to, um, in my case, for harmony. In terms of keeping harmony, if I just need to kind of be more mindful in my day-to-day -day, um, activities, I might drift towards a more geometric shape like a square, a circle, a triangle. Um, so actually, I'm probably going to go more geometric myself. But say, you know, you kind of need to let go a little bit and, you know, um, if you're feeling a little bit more like you need control the or you need a little bit less control these days, you might go towards more natural shapes like clouds, uh, leaves, swirls, waves, things that you would kind of find more in the environment. Um, and so I think I'm going to go for more geometric shapes just because it can kind of be easy to forget the small things that you can do to kind of um, make others, not necessarily make others more comfortable, but kind of just to be a little bit more mindful. Um, so I'm going to go for more geometric shapes today. And then if it is helpful, um, sometimes in art, certain shapes have specific meanings. Um, it's not by any means concrete, so, um, you know, you're going certain shapes won't have the same meanings as in other places. Um, but typically, uh, what are recognized as the meanings of, say, something like squares can be, you know, um, stability and calm. Oh, there's a message here. Make sure I don't miss that. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, so yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, squares can represent like calm and stability. Um, they can even mean boring. Um, so like, hey, maybe you feel like I'm a little bit too excited right now. I kind of need to allow myself to feel bored. You can even go for that. Um, circles are more for like um, just overall harmony. Um, connection with others, um, just kind of a feeling of comfort. Um, we'll usually typically go more towards a circular shape. Uh, triangles can represent things like change, conflict. So maybe there's like a conversation you're not having with someone and you kind of want to be, which um, for me, um, it's hard for me to speak up sometimes. So maybe something like a triangle can be more up your alley. Um, but again, these don't have any hard and fast rules. And so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing just so everyone knows. So I'm just filling in the background with squares right now. Um, and so you kind of want to fill in your entire background with these shapes. Oh yeah, so um, everyone, you can unmute yourself. Um, there's a mic in the uh, lower left corner, depending. Um, so no, mine is in a different place today, but I think that's just because I'm a co-host. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Erica's also here to help. Um, so we could just continue here. Oh, and also feel free if, say, you want some geometric um, shapes and some more natural shapes, you can feel free to mix and match those however you please this is your piece and so you want this to be as true to you as possible so I'm gonna go for as you see here I started with squares and then I'm putting triangles inside of them so you can even mix them like that like you want half of your piece to have geometric shapes, the other half to not. I'll turn up the music just a little bit here. I'll just give you guys a few moments just to kind of fill in your background.
Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Also for me, it's really hard to tell if I'm talking too much or too fast. So also let me know if I'm doing either of those. gonna move on in about another minute or so but if anyone needs more time just let me know almost forgot my tea Sorry, give me one second. I just need to grab my uh, computer charger. Just going to mute for just a moment. about that guys let me there we go all right um so now we can move on so now that we have our structure put in place now we can move on to colors for this piece oh actually i forgot about this part um so say um and this is something that you can hold off on until we get to the colors portion but say um you know, you're going towards uh, more of the natural shapes, the um, like the kind of less need for control um, for this next month in terms of your intention. Uh, there's also something really cool that you can do. Um, this works especially well with those who have some, you know, more wet mediums like acrylic, watercolor, things like that. Um, but it's basically this principle of taking whatever your medium is and kind of putting it across the top of your page and just letting it kind of drip down or run down however it naturally goes. You can kind of very gently guide it just in case it's starting to go off your paper. Um, we're not saying you need to make a mess for this workshop. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just this uh, technique or uh, actually I should say philosophy from Taoism uh, called Wu Wei. Um, and it's this uh, emphasization, emphasization, I cannot say that word today. Uh, it's basically just, um, telling yourself you don't need to force a result if there's no force that's needed. Um, it's a very interesting philosophy, so I suggest if you have some time to go look it up because it's pretty cool. 
Um, but um, it can also basically just be boiled down to like going with the flow. Um, but again, you can hold off on that for right now because we just have to choose our colors first and then feel free to do that as you may. And so for our next step, um, we're gonna choose our colors. Um, so it's basically what you want to fill in everything in the background. So for this, you would um, for this you would leave the centerpiece blank for now. You just want to work in everything that surrounds it. Um, and so um, I just have a list here of different colors and some common meanings for them. But it's uh, again just like with the shapes, the meanings can change depending on where you are in the world. Um, so feel free, if this list doesn't really kind of jive with you at the moment, feel free to choose any um, other, other meanings for the colors that you choose. Um, yeah, here are just some common hmm. meanings. So I'm actually going to get my markers out so I can draw along with you guys. And then for our friends who only have, say, like a Sharpie marker or like a pencil, a pen, things like that, and you really don't have like access to a full range of colors. Um, also feel free, so in this PowerPoint, we kind of have these little shapes here. Um, so I think if I go back, yeah, we have like the polka dots here. Actually, this is a good slide too, with like the lines and everything. Feel free to fill in all of your shapes with like different patterns, because that can also produce a really cool result. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a million colors for this project, you can still make it your own even if you're only working with, you know, a few or even just one. And so, this next portion, we're just going to focus on filling in the background. Um, so if you want me to leave this uh, slide up, I can. The next slide is just kind of focusing in on filling the background, but just in case you need this list right now, just leave this up. So let me see, what colors do I actually want to use for this? Hmm. I'm going to go for green, yellow, and orange. I don't know how these colors will work together, but we're going to see. Yeah, I hope you guys are kind of able, if not in uh, just only this moment, but finding time throughout your week to de-stress. Because I know for me, it's really hard to give myself that time. So if this helps you in that way, I'm very happy that we're able to give you some time to do that. But. It's always good to try to find that time whenever you can. If anyone wants to, either um, through your mic or through the chat, just let us know. Oh, um, so this is, um, I know the YouTube channel is called Chilled Cow. Um, uh, their channel just kind of has like a bunch of these kinds of mixes. Um, so I know the genre is called lo-fi hip-hop. I think this is their... What's the name of this video? 
I think it's called their 2 a.m. mix. get off here just in case it stops the presentation yeah I know um, the YouTube channel is chilled cow um, so that's chilled um, c-h-i-l-l-e-d and then cow c-o-w like the animal but also oh, so if anyone has any uh, oh sorry got a little feedback there <laughs> um, if anyone has uh, any music suggestions feel free to let us know because as even though I love lo-fi hip-hop I know just um, from my experiences as a student that was kind of constantly played so I know some people may love it some people might get sick of it um, so if anyone has any music suggestions just let us know and we'll try to play those next time yeah if anyone wants to use the chat or uh, vocally tell us um, how you're kind of feeling about your piece, what's your intention, and why did you choose the shapes and colors that you did? I know for myself, um, so I'm filling in my triangles with green. Uh, the reason being, like I mentioned earlier, it can be hard for me to speak up and to get uh, reassurance when needed. It's something that I've been personally trying to work through. And so, not that it's necessarily a conflict, it's kind of more of just having a conversation, um, but just kind of being open to getting that uh, reassurance and kind of um, going about having that conversation even though it may be tough to have it. Um, and I put them inside of this uh, my square shapes just because it kind of helps to achieve that stability you know having those conversations is kind of vital for creating more stable environment. I also know sometimes I kind of just go for these. I'm not exactly sure what the meaning is until I'm like either done painting it or even just looking back on it later. So we have about uh, a little less than 15 minutes left in this workshop. So feel free to take your time. The final step's gonna be super quick, so no need to rush. triangles. Also really like this practice because this is a medium I don't typically use. So I'm more of an acrylic artist. So medium is just again um, what you're using to put your pieces together. So it could be something like paint, clay, pencils, pens, things like that. So I typically don't work with pens that often. But I know this year I've been wanting to get a little bit more familiar with them. And so it's also a really cool way to do that.
Oh, and if anyone needs me to go back to any slide, just let me know. I'm gonna go forward a little bit here. Uh, sorry if I get quiet with this. Sometimes I can kind of get a little focused. I'm trying not to be as uh, pulled away by this. But practices like these are also good for um, accessing what's known as a flow state. Um, what that means basically is. Um, you can basically do it with anything that you feel any sort of um, passion about, um, but it's any sort of activity that is not too challenging where you get frustrated by it, but it's also not too easy to where you kind of are getting bored by it. It's something that's right in the middle, and so it also helps me with using a different medium, so since I'm not familiar with it. but that can also be really stress relieving kind of going into a flow state and so for me art typically will do it but um i know for some people like um playing music or like going for a run or any sort of activity that for them is very it kind of makes you feel a little bit more centered anything like that will typically do it so, gonna try not to get fully sucked in by this, but. It is very difficult. <laughs> All, right. All right, so. Right now we're approaching the end of this project, so I'm just gonna move on even though. I still have a little bit of work to do, but feel free to keep working on this uh, for as long as you need. Um, we're just keeping this workshop short for now, but that doesn't mean you have to automatically stop working on it as soon as this is done. Uh, so I'm just gonna move on to our last step, which is um, the process of arriving at your intention. Um, so you've put in all of this really amazing work towards um, adopting certain activities, beliefs, um, behaviors, feelings, things like that, um, towards achieving your overall goal. And so now we're just going to do the process of kind of focusing in on this centerpiece. Um, 
And so, um, again, it's going to be the symbol that's... Oh, headphone cord is a little stuck here. How did it get this stuck? There you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but we're going to focus in, again, on this uh, symbol that's here in the center. Um, so for this, um, people have different ways of approaching it. Uh, so something that I typically like to do which is here, I just like to outline it and leave the center white. Um, so it's just because since the background is so colorful, having this thing in the middle that's white is pretty striking against that background. And so it's a little bit easier to focus on. And I'll typically outline it with some dark color, in this case black, uh, but you can use a different color also. Um, but white can also symbolize things like a new beginning. So, you know, um, since it's something that you're focusing on this month, you can see it as like a new beginning, um, at least in the short term. Um, but don't take that as like a hard and fast rule. Sometimes people also like to fill it in with like uh, different symbols, characters, um, different colors also, um, if you want to go for a more solid color approach. Um, and so actually, I think for today, I'm going to fill it in a different color because I typically don't do that. But again, feel free to get as creative with this as you like. So I'm just going to take my Sharpie marker, marker, sorry, and just outline it here. Just to give it a very defined edge. Find the edge just a little bit, just so it's a little bit more visible against the background. And then I think I'm actually gonna fill it in. I think actually baby blue would look nice. Because it's very subtle. moments left of this, um, of our workshop today. So I'm just going to go, this is an optional step, the last part, um, but this is where you can really get creative with um, adding in any of your optional items, so like your glitter, your um, artificial flowers, things like that. Um, I actually don't have a picture um, of my previous piece where I added like a bunch of artificial flowers on it and that was really nice. Um, yeah, you can kind of just get as creative as you want. Um, so some people, they may see this as a way of kind of cementing, you know, um, this uh, work that you've put uh, together um, and actually to carry it into your day-to-day -day life. Um, for others, it's just kind of more about the aesthetics, you know, you kind of just want it to look pretty and so that can really help out with that. Um, yeah, if anyone has any questions, we have about like three minutes left. Um, but also feel free to share your piece. Um, if you're on Instagram, um, let me get our Instagram tag correctly. I just want to make sure I'm not messing this up. So yeah, we're um, all one word um, at Center for Creativity on Instagram. Uh, so if you want to take a picture of your piece and send it to us and then... Um, We'll try to post those, just in case you feel like sharing today. Yeah, 
I just want to thank you all. So this is a workshop that I put together for a friend who is kind of the same way where she likes to use art in different ways um, outside of just what's pretty. She also wanted to find a way to make it a bit more practical. Um, and I'm really glad that you guys allowed me to kind of also share this workshop with you. Oh, and then, uh, Eric, what time is the workshop tomorrow? It's uh, 3.30. You said 4.30? 3.30. 3.30, sorry. So yeah, we also have another workshop tomorrow um, at 3.30. And we're working on putting some other things into place. Uh, we also have our um, site. We're calling it the Screen Share. So um, the website is pit c the number four c dot weebly dot com. Um, all of our programs are going to be listed there, as well as some other uh, cool projects we're working on. But yep. Um, so I want to thank you guys so much again. Um, we're out of time for today. Um, yeah, you guys were amazing, and this was super fun. Um, so, Eric, if you want to leave it running, you can. I'm just going to log out, if that's okay. Yeah. All right. Thank I'm you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. <laughs>